Believe it or not, mate, there is actually one massive disadvantage and danger of having success with women at an early age. And that is that you're very likely to throw all your goals and ambitions out the window. Now, why do you think, I mean, first of all, why do you want to self-improve? Let me ask you that. Why do you want to self-improve? Uh, self I guarantee that even if it's not the top thing on your list, it's definitely up there that it's women. You want more success with women. You want a more thriving and fruitful date in life. And for the vast majority of men, this is the key and the most important reason why they even get on self-improvement in the first place. Because the person that they are now does not get as many women as they want to have. And the quality of women that they get isn't as good as they want it to be. So they get on self-improvement. They go to the gym and build an aesthetic body. They think of different ways to make more money, to become more financially stable and have freedom. They work on their social skills, they work on their soft skills to become a more influential speaker, more charismatic, more fun to be around, okay? All these things for that final goal, to become the most desirable man that can be to the vast majority of women. So that they can go from the guy that gets no pussy to the guy that gets an abundance of girls, right? So that's the main reason why we all start. I mean, that's the reason why I started, okay? And I can guarantee it's definitely the reason why you started as well. So what do you think happens when you already get women at an early age, okay? Think about it like this. Say you're running a 100 meter race and you cross the finish line. Do you carry on running or do you stop? Well, obviously you, you stop, don't you? Because you finished the race. The exact same thing works with male life. Okay, that we're on this self-improvement journey. This self-improvement journey is a race. And on the finish line, at, at the finish line, is our personal goals. And for the, for the vast majority of us, this goal is to have an abundance of women and a thriving date in life. Now, going back to the 100 meter sprinter, right? He crosses the line and obviously he stops running. So, as a man, what, hap what do you think happens when you cross that line? at an early age. Well, there's no motivation to self-improve, is there? You've reached that goal, you've reached the finish line. So it's very, very hard to have the self-discipline and self-motivation to, to continue putting yourself through shit, right? Because self-improvement isn't fun. You need to have, it was very, very tough to have that self-motivation, self self-discipline to keep putting yourself through shit, to keep improving, to keep hitting a gym and get bigger, to keep you know, making more and more money, to keep becoming an, an, an even better person than you were before. It's very difficult to motivate yourself to put yourself through those trials and tribulations to become an even better man when you're already getting the reward, okay? And we see this, don't we? We see this all the time. We see, we see lads that we went to school with my personal experience is exactly the same. Lads that I went to school with in secondary school and in college that were the most popular, got the most girls. Most of those guys now are fucking losers, mate. Okay, because they had no reason to have to self-improve. They had no reason to want to go above and beyond to improve themselves because they already had the prize. They were already at the finish line, so to speak, because they had an abundance of, of, of girls and popularity and overall, they weren't really missing anything from their life. Whereas the rest of us, that weren't as popular, didn't get as many girls, were more socially awkward, and overall weren't as high on a hierarchy at school as them, we had every reason to want to start self-improving because we wanted to get to that level as well. And thankfully for us, as we continued to self-improve, we fell in love with the process. We fell in love with bettering ourselves day in, day out. So even if you're in your 20s, in your mid-20s, you still have that passion to self-improve and even though you might still be getting, you might now be getting girls, but despite that, you remember why you started and you remember the power of self-improvement. And that only comes when you've been through shit and trials and tribulations for years, okay? With myself, I'm at a point where I do get girls, okay? But it's taken me a lot of time to get to this stage. And now that I do, I'm, I'm not satisfied. I'm happy, of course, but I'm not satisfied. I want to get to the next level now. And just because I get girls now, doesn't mean that I'm going to be complacent. Doesn't mean that all my goals and aspirations go flying out the window as soon as I uh, get some arse, okay? No. Yeah, I get arse, cool. But, 
you know, there's still work to be done. And you should be exactly the same. So, even if you don't get girls at a young age, count it as a blessing, honestly. If you get no girls in your, in your teens or early 20s, count it as a blessing because the way, the only way that you're going to get these girls is through self-improvement. And doing self-improvement is going to absolutely take your life and just everything to the next level.